And uh, 20 minutes after one, our time right here. You know, we're supposed to have our little gossip time before the news at one, but um, that time it got the good doctor, you know, talking about uh, good stuff right here, good grains, some good agricultural programs at your rural homestead, or should I say, integrated kumusha, you know that. So, one little uncle has joined us in the studio. <laughs> Uncle Kirtley comes through with uh, three uncles trending. That's for That's since Wednesday he's been going round, and I believe last night he was at Anfield. Managed to fly in today this morning after the B game. So I'm dying to talk to him. I'm really dying to talk to Uncle Kirtley. I wanted to see how far you were gonna take it, Uncle Jim. <laughs> And clearly, you took it too far. <laughs> Did I? Did I? You took it as far as Anfield. Wow. <laughs> That's where you were last night. I saw yeah. you somewhere in a little corner there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you must have been saying, yeah, today leave a bar at home. I'm sure yes. I'm going to get the thrashing from a uh, menu. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And let but, me show you actually a picture of me at Anfield. Uh, ah, there you go. There you mm-hmm. go. There you go. <laughs> and you see? it says, started in Zimbabwe. <laughs> now I'm forever where the Reds take me. There you go. So I will always follow the Reds. I'll never walk alone. Well, I'm glad you ran away from the Red Devils. Oh, yes. Now you yes. are with the Reds. With the Reds. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. It was an interesting... It was a sight, actually. <laughs> within the first five minutes. <laughs> Game was over. Ah, within the first five minutes, you could predict. It's almost like when it uh, starts raining and uh, you know that you're taking out your your umbrella, but at some point, you're going to need a raincoat and an umbrella. <laughs> and at some point, you'll need a raincoat, umbrella and gum. Boots. <laughs> okay. So literally, I could not live it there. Man United was under so much pressure. <laughs> but anyway, four is the order of the day. Yeah. I'm happy about the result. Um, they had quite some characters in the, quite some 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 interesting football players in the in the opposition team. Um, I mean, there's that one particular Phil uh, who was. Who was part of the team? We weren't too sure. Gudangaji Chagepa line up here. They were bound to lose because of, of of some of the players they had. It was going one way. Yeah. Mm. I think, uh, yeah, it was coming in our favor. But anyway, that's enough about walking alone. Good football. Good football. <laughs> yeah. No, I was quite happy. And thank you for having me again on uh, Three Uncles Trending. I'm missing my third uncle. My third uncle's always in my prayers wherever he is. And thank you for um, the, the scarf, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you for the scarf. It's independence. Th- I'm thank you representing the colors of the country in the studio. <laughs> and you brought you for me. So thank you. Y- yes, but yeah. let's talk about what's trend. I want to ask you one question if you get it right but that is what is trending if you get it right mm-hmm. the scarf is yours okay which artist was there in Zimbabwe this weekend listen there's a follow up question there's a follow up question okay. give me three of his uh, opening acts uh, local artists uh, but why you want to do that <laughs> Uncle Chu I'll give you one I won't make it easy for I'll, you. I'll give you one because uh, I answered the first one correctly he can't be tall if it's one with locks yeah, he can't be that. Why? Because that's not even a... That was the headline of the show. The show was in the bar. It, it, it is the headline. You have three <laughs> uncles trending. <laughs> so look, uh, Joe Boy came through. Joe Boy um, was overly underwhelming in the manner in which he performed. I think at some point I was an eyewitness. I got to see about to Zambia. What's good? Uh, on stage live. Wow. Uh, I don't know what he had been given. Maybe it was Zambezi. <laughs> so he was somewhere on the border. <laughs> he became a Zambezian. <laughs> he was somewhere on the border between Zambia and um, 
and 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 Zimbabwe. But all the same, um, that 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 was an interesting performance that came through from Joe Boy. It was uh, barely very much under barely an hour, very much under an hour. Um, he had his songs lined up uh, that seemed to be syncing with the with the with the DJ, which means that he really wasn't even using his vocals to the maximum capacity. Um, another report I have for you as well is that you know he thought uh, he was in Zambia so I think uh, at some point uh, they started using their language on stage uh, him, between him and his and his and his D, and his DJ because he came with a DJ or an MC I, I know he had it. an MC and a DJ yeah yeah um, I mean yeah Japraiser really ran the show. It was Japraiser's show for the most part. Uh, that's one name that's trending on social media right now for all the right reasons. Because I mean, he came through. I remember being there on the on the set on the on 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 the scene um, at about 10 a.m. I was setting up myself, and he also you were that early. Yeah, and Japraiser was already there with his band. The band yeah. was already getting ready. You love things, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, during the fun bit, yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So yeah. I mean, um, speaking of 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 taking of taking things to another level, ja, ja Preza really did, and the likes of Takura were there, the likes of Ja Master were there, and they were really pushing the narrative of and our, a couple of, of other DJs of our local artists. Yes, indeed, we had we had very much a team of DJs that came through. I know MC Tats was 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 ever present with his MCing skills. MC Guli, big shout out to him, and they 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 pulled through in the best way they know how. However, uh, the alcohol baby hit maker, uh, yeah, and the all froth and no beer. <laughs> Yes, that was the big headline. <laughs> <laughs> all froth and no beer, but hey, all the same, we are we are still in support of having more international artists because I feel like they have an audience. If they seek an audience with us, we'll give it to them, and we just do hope that they won't be as underwhelming as Joe Boy. Was. But here is my pledge: mm-hmm. is that let's support our own local talent. Mm-hmm. Um, they even perform better than uh, you know. Our guests, you know, we love we love us being Africans. Mm-hmm. Africanism is is who and what we do. Yes. But let's support our own local artists. That should be the message mm-hmm. all the time. That should be that. And artists, thing. let's respect our fans. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it, it it goes either way. I think so. We and, need uh, each other. We need each other. It's an ecosystem that feeds off, uh, um, you know, the different entities of the of the of the of the whole cycle. And I would appreciate it as well if you know, uh, as 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 Joe Boy in his right state. I know he's just 24. He might not have a, a very experienced management and all that, but you know, he needs to offer some kind of message. I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Well, uh, let's. I'll talk after the show. After, okay. after, after we're done. You know, after we're done? With Makua. Okay, mm. that's fine. Nature Gwadi. <laughs> so, um, yes, taking you back, I think you remember us talking about Will Smith and... Uh, yes. And the whole fiasco with Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. Um, now, the update is, you know, he... Just a few days after, actually, he managed to engage with the issue... <laughs> On his official Instagram page, where he was speaking about uh, the the matter, and he did apologize. Yes, he did <laughs> apologize. However, um, like we had said the other time, that he was going to address it on his red table talk. So we're very in high, very much in high anticipation of that conversation. But um, I do want to bring new information to the table that Apartheid Ju Twelve. Story This is driving traffic with well, this whole fiasco will drive traffic to the Red Table Talk, which is a platform that Will and his family are already driving. <coughs> so, yeah. My point is, all we had to do was not play the cards that they did, where we took that as something that was uh, legitimate. Because in my opinion, it was actually uh, staged. I don't know how you said Uncle Chu. Well, uh, those are two comedians. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've answered you. They are two comedians. They so are, they are, yeah. they are, they are. They you are. know, they were acting. 
Yeah, mm. they were they were very much, much doing, doing that in there, right? And uh, yeah, we fell for the trick. But they fooled the us. Yeah, but but uh, the clip was real. The clap was real. <laughs> <laughs> the right. clap was real. The clap was very much real, Uncle Chu. Interesting stories right here, of course, with Uncle Curly, Uncle Chu. Mm. Uh, Mr. Cool will be joining us. So mm. for now, we move on with interesting stories. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, taking a look at our very final story, um, there's an issue I want to make reference to, um, perhaps which was not being discussed uh, amongst young people, which is the issue of, um, you you know the mental health and mental well-being uh we are taking a look right now at you know a dawn of an era where uh you know artists people in high places and people of influence are taking their own lives of making acts and all that and uh the message here on uh, three uncles trending is always very important that uh, mental health um is something that we should have an open conversation about. And I want to dedicate what we have here as a segment to raise awareness. Uh, you know, I know things like uh, Manchester United can cause depression. <laughs> somebody did not go to work and somebody slept in a boots in a zoo. I can tell you that. I know that. I know things like that can cause depression, but the real facts of the matter are is it's real. And, uh, you know, the, the even the last issue we've just addressed, which is the Will Smith issue, can, you know, some of these these things that build up that happen in our lives, the trajectory of events can uh, sometimes have us build, build misdirected anger, misdirected depression, and we figure, we figure not where it comes from. So it's quite important, it's quite imperative to have insight on that. Uh, you know what? Uh, the conversation is always open. Uh, for me, um, I'm available on my own social media platforms to talk to anyone and everyone at Kirtley Gwindi everywhere uh, you'll find me um, I'm not I'm not an expert I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a therapist on oh, no, my Twitter me. page as well yes on, on Uncle Chu's uh, Twitter page at Witness uh, Chuman you'll also find him there and uh, you know we want to make sure we're the uncles that we're supposed to be yes and uh, you know there's, there's 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 quite an important role that we have to play but let it not be from Joe Boy's show. <laughs> Whatever it is. It can be Joe Boy. It can't. It's yeah. just anything but Joe Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, indeed. No, thank you so much, Uncle Chu. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come here. Three uncles trending every Wednesday between the hours of uh, twelve thirty and one. Thank you, Curtly, Uncle mm. Curtly. Thank you very much. Uh, but just to round off again, um, you know, um, 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 you watching Liverpool make new game yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Uh, your thoughts about the game? Uh, well, during the first five minutes and after ninety minutes. You know what? At the first five minutes were ecstatic for me. When I saw that uh, first goal, in fact, it was something out of a out of a movie. To be honest, <laughs> I don't know if there's movies that uh, make those kind of things. But after yesterday, I believed in football themed movies. Why? Because um, you know, there's a lot of tactical play that was happening yesterday. Uh, the second goal, in particular, as well, that had, I think it was a back foot or something of like you know that 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 foot, footwork. Yeah, it was yeah. just footwork, and uh, you see that uh, Liverpool has the potential to take for many years after this one to take the Champions League to take all cups um, to lift a lot of trophies uh, because of the I think the, the wealth of experience that the manager Jurgen Klopp is bringing the wealth of experience that the team team players have, have managed to garner in the past years so yeah um, I think it's an all-star team and my thoughts after the game was still an all-star team and Chinichi uh, Ndechelu <laughs> and it is about above everything else the yeah. love that the coach has for A our players absolutely and the fans absolutely so yes indeed thank you Uncle Curdley thank you thank you thank well you, put you. actually <laughs> thank you thank you I appreciate it alright until well we're gonna catch you on Friday on uh, ZTV yes on ZBC's Good Morning Zimbabwe trending with Curtly between the hours of 6 and 9am on live on television uh, you'll see me if you can't put a face to this voice at least tune into the show on tv <laughs> there you go see you uncle curtly sure. friday morning you're on the right dial classic 263 radio will never be the same again wow.